Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have Wellesley High School. <laughs> Taking on Hingham High School. <laughs> It's a big one, and that's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Coster, your host. Okay, we've got a crazy group here uh, today. Listen, back in November, 130 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of the coveted 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And today's matchup has Hingham High School taking on Wellesley High School. And on the Hingham team, we have Andy, Ben, Noah, and Billy. Uh, the alternate is Jacob on the sidelines, and the coach is Glenda Garland. Let's hear it, everybody, for Hingham High School. And uh, for Wellesley High, we've got Teddy, Zoe, Matt, and Vinay with the alternates, Kate and Jarrett on the sideline. And the coach is Robert Cohen. Nice round of applause. <laughs> Wellesley High School represented. The competition, as always, has four rounds. A toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will begin with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck to both of you, and here we go. In the 1840s, many Irish immigrated to the United States because of the failure of what crop? Yes, Matt? Potatoes. Yes, in 1663, Galileo was convicted of heresy for promoting a sun-centric theory of the solar system, a theory associated with what Polish astronomer? Yes, Teddy. Copernicus? Yes. Uh, Johnny Tremaine by Esther Forbes is a historical novel set during the outbreak of what war? Yes, Ben? The American Revolution. That is correct. Take a look at your screens and you'll see a photograph. What South Carolina fort seen here was attacked by Confederate forces on April 12th, 1861, marking the start of the Civil War? Yes, Billy. Fort Sumter. Yes. From the Greek meaning light, what is the elementary unit or quantum of electromagnetic radiation? Yes, Billy. Photon. Yes. Dar es Salaam is the capital city of what country in East Africa situated just south of the equator? Yes, Zoe. Tanzania. Yes. What children's book by Margaret Weiss Brown begins in the great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon? Yes, good night, moon. Yes, good night, moon. Uh, maybe it isn't a bad form of diplomacy to send a comedian over. What Brookline native said this in 2015 as the first U.S. late-night talk show host to visit Cuba in more than 50 years? Yes, Zoe. Conan O'Brien. That is correct. And take a look at your screens again because the next question will be up on video, and here it comes. Hi, I'm Erica McDermott, and I'm an actress. I had a role in The Fighter, a film about Lowell boxer Irish Mickey Ward. It was directed by what American filmmaker who also directed Silver Linings Playbook and American Hustle? Yes, Zoe. David O. Russell. That is correct. We move on. Uh, the Social Security Act was passed under which U.S. president... Ben. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yes. Every autumn, most Indians, regardless of faith, celebrate what national holiday known as the Festival of Lights? Yes, Ben. Diwali. That's correct. 
That government is best which governs least. Who wrote this in his 1849 essay, Civil Disobedience? Yes, Ben. Thoreau. Yes. Which of the following terms best defines a change in the gene pool of a small population that takes place strictly by chance? Is it A, adaptation, B, genetic drift, or C, gene migration? Yes, Matt. Genetic drift. That's correct. Math question coming. Uh, what number is exactly halfway between 32 and 48? Yes, Matt. 40. That's correct. A woman must have money and a room of her own if she is to write fiction. What British author wrote this in her 1929 title, A Room of One's Own? Yes, Ben. Virginia Woolf. Yes. In May 2015, London's Tower Bridge and other iconic landmarks were temporarily lit with pink lights to celebrate the birth of what royal princess? Yes, Renee. Charlotte. Princess Charlotte is correct. When nationalist troops fled from mainland China to Taiwan in 1949, they were led by what Chinese statesman? Yes, Matt. Chiang Kai-shek. That is correct. Most coral reefs are built from stony corals that cluster in groups. What word that begins with a letter P refers to a single individual coral? Yes, Teddy. Polyp. Yes. In 2015, what television series based on the books of George R. R. Martin won a record 12 Emmy Awards, the most in a single year? Noah. A Game of Thrones. Of course, Game of Thrones. Which of the following countries has the largest land area? Is it A, Kazakhstan, B, Turkey, or C, Sudan? Yes, Andy. Kazakhstan. That is correct. Most invertebrate groups developed and grew the most during what geologic era that literally means ancient life? Yes, Ben? Paleozoic? Yes. Uh, math question. What is the common logarithm of 100? Yes, Andy? Two. Two is correct. When her album Partners debuted at number one on a Billboard chart in 2014, what Funny Girl star became the only artist to have a top album in each of the past six decades? Zoe. Barbara Streisand. That's correct. Uh, twice as long as Hadrian's Wall in the north, Ophus Dyke was for centuries the traditional boundary between England and what country to the west? Yes, Vinay. Wales. Correct. On March 15, 2015, an estimated 15,000 people uh, gathered on Copacabana Beach in Rio to protest what president known as Brazil's Iron Lady? Yes, Vinay. Tilma Russo. That's correct. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, what British author wrote this in his inspirational poem titled If? Yes, Andy. Richard Kipling. That's correct. In 2015, what far-right French political party suspended its own founder, Jean-Marie Le Pen, after he made a series of controversial remarks about Jews and Nazis? Yes, Matt. The National Front. That's correct. Before the attack on Pearl Harbor, what Japanese emperor criticized plans to go to war with the United States as self-destructive and opposed an alliance with Germany? Yes, Billy. Hirohito. That is correct. Uh, what gas used in the manufacture of solar panels and computer chips has the chemical formula NF3? Yes, Billy. Nitrogen uh, trifluoride. Correct. In 1968, oh, there's the bell that ends the round. Uh, let's take a look at the score because it is very close. Hingham High School right now, 140 points. Wellesley High School, 100 points. 50 points. Let's hear it for both teams. We have a battle here. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a little break. Everybody can breathe for just a couple of minutes. Uh, I've got a question. We're going to get to know the players a little bit better. Uh, I'll ask the question, and you guys will each answer, okay? And, Andy, we're going to start with you over there at Hingham High School. Uh, what event in history did you wish you had been able to witness, and why? Well, I like military history, so I would like to bear witness to the Battle of Hodov and see how early modern warfare was conducted. Wow. And Ben? Uh, I'd like to see the Declaration of Independence being signed because mm -hmm. I would just love to witness the birth of this great nation. Wow. Well said. Noah? I would like to see the premiere of the Rite of Spring because it was a historical 
moment in ballet history, and it resulted in a riot. Wow, some interesting selections. <laughs> uh, Billy. I would like to witness the Apollo 11 moon landing, because I get to go to the moon, and I would get to see <laughs> if it was actually real or not. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Wellesley High School, Teddy. Hmm, I think it would have been nice to be there for the birth of radio personality and TV show host Billy Costa, actually. Thank you so much. Listen, why did I know? Um, bonus points? No, kidding about the bonus points. Uh, Zoe, how about you? Um, I'm going to have to go with the elementary school graduation of radio personality and TV show host Billy Costa. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I sense a theme here. Uh, Matt, how about you? Uh, Billy, I think I'm actually going to have to go with uh, the high school graduation of radio personality and TV host <laughs> Billy Costa. Okay. We had a fun time. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Benet. Um, well, I'm going to go with the college graduation of, <laughs> of radio host and TV. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, radio personality and TV <laughs> so host. Much. Let's get it right, okay, <laughs> Benet? Yeah. Get it right. Uh, <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hingham High, Wellesley High. This is the head to head. One member of each team comes forward. Who's it going to be for Hingham? Andy. It'll be Andy. And uh, I don't know if you knew you were the guy, Andy, but you're going. <laughs> Uh, Wellesley, who are you going with? Vinay. Vinay. <laughs> All right, so Andy, Vinay, let's go head to head. Come on down. Okay, so we go head to head now. I've got uh, Vinay from Wellesley High School right here. I've also got Andy from Hingham High School to my right. Guys, why don't you shake hands? And I just want to remind everybody that in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. And by the way, you can buzz in at any time. So the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, gentlemen. Here we go. In September 2015, who suddenly announced he would step down as Speaker of the House? Yes? Um, oh, John Bainer. Mm. He got it. OK, just got it in. Uh, the Cradle of Texas Liberty is the nickname for what historic site in San Antonio? Yes. The Alamo. Yes. In The Hobbit, Bilbo Baggins and a group of dwarves are aided by what powerful wizard? Gandalf. Yes. Uh, what is the lightest chemical element on the periodic table of? Yes. Hydrogen. Yes. Uh, in surface area, which is the smallest of the five Great Lakes of North America? Yes. Erie. No, Ontario. Uh, for Star Wars, The Force Awakens, what actor agreed to reprise his role as Han Solo? Yes. Um, Harrison Ford. Yes. Uh, what Middle Eastern country is the setting of the 2003 bestseller, The Kite Runner? Yes. Afghanistan. Yes. What is the second largest planet in the solar system of the eight known planets? Yes. Um, Saturn. Yes. Uh, what country is home to the Iberian Mountains? Yes. Spain. Yes. Who was the leader of the Soviet Union when the Berlin Wall fell in 1980? Yes. Um, Khrushchev. And, no, that's wrong. Mikhail Gorbachev, yeah. the answer there. Uh, the dingo is a wild dog that's most commonly found in, yes? Australia. Yes. Derived from the Latin for thread, what thin wire is found inside an electric light bulb? Yes. Filament. Filament is right. Oh. Uh, there's the end of the head-to-head -head round, round two. Let's take a look at the scores right now. Hingham High School, 150 points. Wellesley High School right now, 220 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. This is a battle. This is a good round. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Roman Holiday, Know Your Rights, Call the Midwife, Inside Baseball, these United States and Teen Beat. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point value. And teams, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you cannot confer any longer. We will need your answer. Now, Hingham, you have a little ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, we're going to do these United States. These United States. OK. Questions about the 50 states. And for 10 points, Death Valley, the lowest, driest, and hottest area in North America, is located in the eastern part of what U.S. state? Uh, Matt? California. Correct. So you've got the board Wellesley category. Uh, these United States. We'll stay there for 15 points. These United States. Which state has the longest coastline? 
Ben. Alaska. Correct. And now Hingham High. The East United States. Will stay there for 20 points. What state is home to Iolani Palace, the only royal palace in the United States? Yes, Vene. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. And now, Wellesley, you've got the board category. Yeah. These United States. This time for 25 points. With more than 400 miles explored, Mammoth Cave is the world's longest underground cave system and is located in which state? Yes, Vinay. New Mexico. No, Hingham, you want to try? Did he make it? No, Kentucky uh, is the answer there. So, uh, Wellesley, you keep the board category. Okay. Um, Roman holiday. Roman holiday. This is a new category, and these are questions about ancient Rome. And for 10 points, what twin brothers are the legendary founders of Rome? Yes, Teddy. Romulus and Ramus. Yes, so you've still got the board Wellesley category. Um, we'll do Roman holiday again. Roman holiday for 15 points. What leader became the dictator of Rome and put an end to the Roman Republic? Yes, Teddy. Julius Caesar. Correct. You've still got the board, Wellesley. We'll do teen beat for 10. Okay, we're jumping to teen beat. A new category, questions about young adult novels and for 10 points. Oh, I wouldn't mind, Hazel Grace. It would be a privilege to have my heart broken by you. This quote is from what John Green novel? Yes, Teddy. The Fault in Our Stars. Yes, so Wellesley, you've still got the board. Category? Teen beat for 15. 15 points. The absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian tells the story of Junior, a boy who transfers to a new school where the only other American Indian is which of the following? Is it A, the janitor, B, the mascot, C, the principal? Yes, Teddy. The mascot. The mascot is right. You've still got the board. Wellesley? Um, we'll do inside baseball for 10. New category, questions about baseball. And for 10 points, what great Yankees catcher who passed away at age 90 in 2015 was known for his amusing sayings like, it's deja vu all over again, and it ain't over till it's over? Yes, Ben. Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra is right. Hang him. You've got control of the board. Category? These United States. These United States, this time 30 points at stake. In 1869, what became the first state to grant women the right to vote? Zoe. Wyoming. Correct. And now, Wellesley, you've got the board. You'll need a new category. Um, know your rights. Know your rights. I've got it. Questions about music copyright. For 10 points, in 2015, a jury ruled that Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams blurred lines infringes the copyright of Got to Give It Up, a disco classic by which artist? Yes, Andy? Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Hingham High, you've got the board back. Uh, Roman Holiday. Going back to Roman Holiday, and this time it's for 20 points. Metamorphoses, a collection of 15 books and over 250 myths, is the magnum opus of what Roman poet? Yes, Vinay. Ovid. Ovid is correct, so you get the board, Wellesley. Category? Call the Midwife. Call the midwife. New category. These are questions about birth and babies. <laughs> For 10 points, how many eggs are fertilized when fraternal twins are produced? Yes, Teddy. Two. Two is right. Category from Wellesley. Um, we'll do call the midwife. Call the midwife for 15 points. Once rare, what is now the most common major surgical procedure performed in the U.S., accounting for approximately 32% of all births? Yes, Noah. C-section. Yes, cesarean section or C-section. And Hingham, you've got the board. Category? Know your rights. Know your rights for 15 points this time. In 1990, Vanilla Ice had a hit with Ice Ice Baby, the first hip-hop song to top the Billboard charts. It sampled but did not credit what song by David Bowie and Queen? Teddy. Under Pressure. Correct. And Wealthly High, you've got the board category? Inside Baseball. This time for 15 points. Uh, the cable network Nesson faced an angry backlash in September 2015 when it announced it was replacing what popular play-by-play -play announcer for the Red Sox? Yes, Matt. Don Orsillo. Don Orsillo, who, by the way, has been on High School Quiz Show. I just want to throw it out there. Uh, all right, Wellesley, you've got the board. Call the midwife. Call the midwife. Call the midwife for 20 points. From the Greek meaning yoked, what term refers to a fertilized egg before it becomes an embryo? Yes, Andy. Zygote. Zygote is right. And now Hingham High's got the board. Category. Know your rights. 
know your rights this time, 20 points. In a stunning decision in 2015, a federal judge ruled that all copyright claims held for the past 80 years are invalid for what song by sisters Patty and Mildred Hill? Yes, Billy. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday or a happy birthday to you. Hingham, you've got the board. Know your rights. Know your rights for 25 points. In 1976, a judge ruled that what hit song by George Harrison was virtually identical to the song He's So Fine by the Chiffons. My Sweet Lord is the answer there. Hingham, you've got the board. Category? Know your rights. 30 points up for grabs here. In 1984, Huey Lewis sued Ray Parker Jr. for plagiarism, claiming uh, that Parker had stolen the melody from I Want a New Drug for what hit movie theme song? Uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, Hingham, you've still got the board. Category? Uh, Roman Holiday. Roman Holiday. Roman Holiday for 25 points. Seating up to 250,000 people, one quarter of Rome's population, what chariot racing stadium was the first and largest stadium in ancient Rome? Yes, Andy. Colosseum. No, Wellesley, you want to try it? Yes, Zoe. Circus Maximus. That is correct. Wellesley, you've got the board. Category? Um, teen Beat. Teen Beat for 20 points. For displeasing Crete, Athens periodically had to sacrifice seven youths and seven maidens to the Minotaur. Who cited this myth as her main inspiration for the Hunger Games trilogy? Yes, Teddy. Suzanne Collins. That's correct. Wellesley, you've got the board. Let's do Inside Baseball. Inside Baseball, 20 points. Sabermetrics, the use of statistical analysis to analyze baseball records and player performance is highlighted in what 2003 book by Michael Lewis? Yes, Matt. Moneyball. Moneyball is right. Great movie, too. Uh, Wellesley, you've got the board. Uh, call the midwife. <laughs> call the midwife for 25 points. Uh, developing fetus in the womb is protected by what fluid that acts as a liquid shock absorber? Yes, Benet. Amniotic fluid. That is right. You've still got the board, Wellesley. Where do you want to go? Teen Beat. Teen Beat for 25 points. Meryl Streep stars in a recent film adaptation of what Lois Lowry novel about a society that has eliminated all fear and pain, but also... All choice and individuality. Yes, Teddy. The Giver. The Giver is right. You've still got the board. Oh, however, there's the bell that ends the category round as we look at the score right now. Hingham High School with 215 points. Wellesley High School, 480 points. Nice round of applause for the kids, everybody. Okay, so here we go. We go into the final 90 seconds of game play, and we call it the lightning round. And in this round, teams, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. Now the clock is set. Teams, if you're ready, we'll just proceed. Here we go. What deposed queen was executed during the French Revolution? Teddy. Marie Antoinette. Yes. What is the longest mountain range in North America? Yes, Matt. Rockies. Yes. Founded in 2009, what car service company is now the top choice? Yes, Noah. Uber. Uber is correct. What Grand Slam tennis tournament takes place every year at Roland Garros Stadium? Yes, Finn. The French Open. Yes. Um, like his characters, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, author. Yes, Matt. Mark Twain. No. Uh, I'll read the question. Like his characters, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, author Mark Twain was from what U.S. state? The answer, Missouri. Uh, what organ gets built and broken down by cells called osteoblasts and... Yes. Bone. Yes. Uh, in 2015, who won an Oscar for playing Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything? Zoe. Eddie Redmayne. Yes. Uh, the Nehru jacket is named after a prime minister. Yes. India. Yes. In Greek myth, Poseidon was the father of what winged horse? Yes, Benet. Pegasus. Yes. The hammer, anvil, and stirrup bones are found in which organ? Yes, Noah. The ear. Yes. In 1836, Texas declared its independence from what country? Yes. Mexico. Yes, Ben. Uh, what three-mile-high mountain is a prime research objective of NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars? Yes, Teddy. Uh, Mount Sharp, the answer. Steel City is a nickname for what Pennsylvania city? Yes, Matt. Harrisburg. Pittsburgh is the answer. In 1918, what Vermont native was elected governor of Massachusetts? Oh. 
Calvin Coolidge would have been an answer, but we have a winner this week. Wellesley High School with a final score of 520 points is the winner this week. <laughs> The runner-up, congratulations to Hingham High School, an impressive score of 315 points. So congratulations to both teams for a really good run. Now, Wellesley High School is going to move now and play in the quarterfinals, so please be sure to tune in, and we'll see everybody back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.